Hey, pay. Back at you with another video. And in today's video, we are going over who won Riker of the Week over this past week. This was the most votes ever for one of the Riker to, Rikers of the Week. Um, besides the Riker of the Year, that was the most votes that we ever got on the channel. But we got a lot of votes in, and I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button for me right now. Um, let's get into the video. First up, of course, I got to show another new product from Show Chrome before I get the video started, right? So this bag is a storage bag that goes on the side of the Riker. I want you to get in the comment section. And let me know how you think it looks on the Riker first and foremost. Uh, this is how it looks from the front. So it's very convenient. It's very light. You could just remove it from the bike and take it wherever you need to take it. Um, so some of us put like a book bag on like our back or on the back of the bike on the uh, passenger seat. You ain't got to do that. You can just put it right on the side of the bike. That's pretty dope. This is the hardware for it. Real easy to install. Get in the comment section and let me know um, if you think this is a solid product. If Show Chrome knocked it out the park, it is one hundred eighty six dollars. So some of us have this plastic one on the back of our bike, right? We have that set up. So this would, you know, basically replace that and you're going with this side bag set up. Get in the comment section, let me know. What do you think about this new product? Is it worth it? Um, I think they did a great job. It look, The bag definitely looks pretty good, but enough of that. Let's get into the video. In third place, with a third place finished, he finished third this week. My boy Keith Smith. Shout out to Keith Smith. Your bike look, looks good, my guy. It's coming along. Um, you know, people blowing up the comment section. People really like your bike. Uh, you know, I'm totally digging those Elka shocks that are on there. You know, it's it's a nice looking bike, man. Shout out to my boy Keith Smith. Coming in with this beautiful Riker 900. He got a custom exhaust. He got a he got the floorboards. He even got the extended brake pedal. My boy doing it. He doing his thing. I'm digging it. Next up, the baby girl. She finished number two this week. Finished number two. If it wasn't for number one, obviously she would have finished number one. She got the, you know, blacked out back with the uh, orange, you know what I'm saying? Tastefully done on the speakers, uh, Can-Am on the seat. Look at that wheel. Look at the taste, tasteful orange in the uh, speaker. Shout out to the baby girl. Got the floorboards done. Of course, we represent Show Chrome with the heated hand grip right there. Got that bar done. The handlebar is done. Also, it's powder coated. That's what's up. The spring is powder coated. Got these speakers up here. Shout out to CT Customs for the love on the speaker setup. They lie nice and loud. Baby girl finished number two this week. Got the front springs done. Got these little fairings at the bottom. They're done in orange. Some of the grill is done in orange. All powder coat. Of course, those wheels are powder coated. Got K&M on the windshield. Shout out to bike number two, the baby girl, for crushing it with this wonderful, uh, as I call it, tangerine bike. Shout out to the baby girl. But... Unfortunately, there can only be one number one. There can only be one number one. My man, Ace Boogie in the house. Those are his old wheels on his bike, right? Ace in the house. Ace in the place. Reach out to me, Ace, man, so I can send you your prize for Riker of the Week. Hit me up at c8pay at gmail.com. Man, I see you, my boy. So I would say a couple of weeks ago, since it was kind of releasing, he did this. I ain't gonna, it's like he broke the internet for 
in the three wheel community for a minute. Nobody saw 22s on a Riker or even thought that this thing could be possible overall. He comes through with 22s on a Riker. <sighs> man, get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think, man. Mm. I mean, him and Baby Girl, they both powder coated the wheels. They went crazy on it. He got this wrap on it. Uh, what do you guys think about no back seat? Obviously, he probably he can't even do a back seat with that. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that tire is so darn big. This is a one seater for sure. But what do y'all think about that, man? That thing is so high up off the ground. Look at that exhaust hanging down. My man Ace. I see you, King Ace. You did your thing, my guy. Yes, sir. He did his thing, man. But him and Baby Girl went head to head. You know, nice looking bike. I can't really. I don't have a lot of negatives to say on any of the three bikes. I think that, you know, all three bikes look amazing, in my opinion. Um, you know, Ace, you did a great job. Baby Girl did a great job. Keith Smith did a great job. But when you flip back and forth between those bikes, it's just like, wow, people are really bringing something special this year. People are really trying hard to make their bike stand out and be something special. I mean, but hey, these speakers are loud as crap. So basically, it's six speakers on here now. Went from two to six. <sighs> Very nice bikes, man. Very, very nice bikes. Get in the comment section and let me know. Do you think we got the right winner this week? If you are not afraid to participate in one of my records of the week, please email me at capate at gmail.com and see how your bike stacks up against the other bikes Again, this is competition. Fair competition is, is what we're looking for, right? Does your bike stack up to this? Do you have the creativity that uh, to, to on full display where people will vote for your bike and say, you know what? This person crushed it and knocked it out the park. As I always say, less is always best because you got some people that just go overboard on the bike. Would you consider these 22 inch wheels overboard? It's tastefully done to me, so I would not consider them to be overboard because it is tastefully done. You know, he get, you know, extra points for the exhaust. He did get some points taken away because he does not have floorboards on this thing. So I do think that if he had floorboards and they were powder coated and these pink rims, it would make the bike pop a little bit more. Just my opinion. Please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, my friends. C.A. Pate out.